Hi guys, uh, we are uh, Selenium code uh, for login and logout testing in Gmail. Mm, first of all, we need to create in class uh, that is uh, test Gmail uh, login and logout. Uh, this is the name I have given to it. Uh, and um, this alphanumerical character you will get the error and first letter should be in capital then cup public static void unity click auto generated code after that I have uh, um, um, note down the um, code uh, for you on uh, notepad so that it is less time consuming uh, I'll copy and paste I'll copy this and paste the code copy there are some uh, red mark uh, errors that you can see on uh, this uh, code on alien eclipse uh, so you can uh, for that red marked errors you can mouse over it marked errors uh, to solve that by mouse hovering and importing that files on this particular file dot java file like your import dot web driver and then uh, for chrome import dot chrome driver then as uh, by id then importing time unit then uh, now you don't have any uh, thread dot sleep 2000 uh, milliseconds for that you need to for th that you need to add throws interrupted exception beside public static void I'll copy it and add to my file Java file so that errors is, is solved now for this I have taken two uh, thread sleep that x uh, that is timeout implicit and uh, thread dot sleep I'll explain you later on now how come this is working now um, after that uh, web driver uh, w is equal to new chrome driver uh, for that um, we have a find element that is uh, locating elements uh, by using uh, Java syntax by ID and by XPath. Okay, there are various uh, Java syntax like uh, by name, by class name, by tag name. But here I have used by ID by XPath. We can generate or browse uh, from the uh, Firefox browser. Uh, we'll go to the Firefox browser. Type gmail.com then from that inspect element I will get the ID that is for email I am having email select the inspect inspect element ok and uh, select the ID like uh, email password and uh, so on and we'll uh, put the actual id what is uh, sent that is input uh, send key that is here i have punam lashal 21 at the gmail.com after that uh, i have a click button click for that i have an id that is next I have inserted it and click action for it then there is thread sleep of 2000 milliseconds then comes
password I have PASSWD then I'll send element as whatever is the password then is the click button for send that is next sign in button then it's implicit now for part and for the uh, out log out I need to add fire path that is by um, uh, clicking right click and getting the fire path that is uh, the X path that is inserted into by dot X path and then click action on it implicit time written on it that is wait time now thread sleeps for 2000 milliseconds out here um, now I'll tell you the difference uh, implicit as when uh, the timeout is uh, um, when the uh, page is loaded within the time limit that is less than 200 milliseconds then um, it will not wait it will uh, go further that's the reason we implicit uh, time is taken now as I've taken sign out fire path and uh, copy and paste it on my code then the click button clicking the button code now I'll run this code let's see how does this work Now we'll check this out in pop-up form. Mm, here is code and the site that is uh, zoomtv.com where on clicking on login there is a, a pop-up generated. Again here mm, I'll see to it what, what in inspect element is for that inspect element for here is like name that is by dot name that is email again I'll go to my code I'll uh, change the ID to name okay and for password it's the name itself and I'll input the data send key as a um, whatever it is provided to that uh, field password also the same and I'll uh, change that ID into name next as the next is the fire path the X path copy and paste now. Mm, uh, after this uh, I will run this code
log out go to and the site let's see uh, let's check how come this how is this working so login it will login see if it logs in successfully but it won't log out yeah the reason behind is this see you won't you won't see any uh, you won't see the site has been logged out the problem there is a problem in this code that let's check it out what is this exactly implicit um, code implicit wait I have not entered after the thread dot sleep because your yeah, difference is implicit wait will uh, not wait uh, even if the code has been here the page has been generated before the uh, time for that uh, thread dot sleep is not working for implicit wait whenever we use in a, we use implicit wait it will work even if the code is generated within time and thread dot uh, sleep to thousand milliseconds it generally slows down the test Now you can see the um, it this code generally works. It will log in, and you see the login logout out here. It logs in successfully. Click, and then after that, you will see it is logged out. Okay, again you see the login button. This is how it works. Thanks.